Now at 11, a first class facility. That's what Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir calls the opening of Turfway Park Gaming and Racing. Our own Jake Ryle spoke with the governor on the grand opening here and the future of gambling in the Bluegrass State. Well, Turfway Park is hosting its VIP night ahead of its grand opening. And while the focus is on all of these big games here that you see, we're asking questions to leaders to find out what it means for the future of sports gaming in the state. All right, ready? Three. With the push of a button Tuesday, Six. Turfway Park entered a new era. It's one of those things that you never thought you'd see. Florence Mayor Diane Whalen is betting big. Kind of equate it to 1976 when we walked into the Florence Mall for the first time. It's kind of like Dorothy walking, opening the door to, to the land of Oz uh, with all of the bright lights and, and the new newness of the place and, and just the excitement that we know it's going to bring to the city. A who's who of regional and state leaders were in attendance, including Governor Andy Bashir. And listen, while announcements are great and groundbreakings are fun, Topping off ceremonies are important. Grand openings mean it's real. It means the jobs are real. 400 jobs were created. The governor knows the stakes on its success are high. Wow, uh, a first class facility. What's going to be a draw for the region? With Indiana and Ohio both legalizing sports betting, I asked the governor if Turfway's opening is a sign of what could soon be. I'm 100% for sports betting. I pushed it every year I've been governor and while I was attorney general. We just need some people in the General Assembly to come around. But there are a whole lot of them here tonight, so hopefully they like what they say. How likely is it, do you think, that sports gaming could happen, say, in the next five years? It's one to two senators that are keeping it from happening. If we can get through those members of leadership, we can get it done. Tuesday, a chance to look at Turfway's storied past, cherish the present, and look ahead to the future. With facilities like this, with historic horse racing, we can compete with everyone. But yes, uh, the General Assembly has failed to pass sports betting, has failed to pass uh, full gaming, has fa failed to pass medical marijuana, and we are behind the rest of the country on those things. It's time we catch up. In Florence, Jake Ryle to be CPO 9 News. 100% of the profits from the VIP event tonight went to two local charity charities, that is Easter Seals Redwood and the I Have Wings Breast Cancer Foundation. The gaming portion of Turfway will be open to the public Thursday at 9 a.m.